Hey, gamers! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to compare two heavyweights in the Battle Royale genre, Bloodstrike and Farlight 84. Which game deserves the crown? Stay tuned, because we're about to find out. So, we'll cover six important points, and the game that scores the most wins. Also, in the conclusion, I'll share my personal thoughts on both games. Let's jump right in. First up, let's talk about the gameplay mechanics, which are crucial for any Battle Royale experience. Bloodstrike really focuses on that classic first-person shooter vibe, pulling players into a world where precision and skill are super important. The controls are tight and responsive, meaning you can aim, shoot, and move around easily, which is essential when the action gets heated. What's fantastic about Bloodstrike is the extensive variety of weapons available to you. Whether you prefer taking out enemies from a distance with snipers or jumping into the action with shotguns, there's something for everyone. Each weapon feels distinct, offering its own advantages and drawbacks. You'll find yourself experimenting with different loadouts, trying to find that perfect combination to suit your playstyle. On the other side, Farlight 84 takes a much bolder, futuristic approach that truly sets it apart from traditional Battle Royale experiences. While Bloodstrike focuses on a more grounded, first-person shooter style, Farlight 84 uses a third-person perspective, which significantly changes the way players view and navigate the battlefield. This third-person view allows for a wider field of vision, making it easier to keep an eye on enemies around you. But, it also means you need to stay on your toes, as enemies can spot you sneaking around corners. But that's just the beginning of what makes Farlight 84 stand out. There are vehicles that move across the map, and characters who are more like futuristic superheroes than regular soldiers. You can jump into high-speed vehicles that look like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, moving quickly across the map. And it's not just about fast travel or crashing into your enemies, these vehicles come packed with unique abilities. Some can deploy energy shields to block incoming fire, others have mounted weapons to mow down opponents, and a few even serve as mobile support units, healing you and your teammates. Mastering the use of these vehicles is key to dominating the battlefield and outsmarting your opponents. So, who wins this round? It's a tie. Both games have their unique flair, making gameplay engaging in different ways. Next, let's talk about the player base of both games and see how they stack up. Bloodstrike has managed to build a solid and passionate community of dedicated players. These are the types of fans who live and breathe in the game, showing up every day to engage in intense matches, share strategies, and keep the competitive spirit alive. You'll often see these players exchanging tips in online forums, analyzing gameplay videos, and even forming teams to handle ranked play together. This game isn't just about casual fun, it's got a loyal following that's deeply invested in its fast-paced, adrenaline-pumping action. For many players, Bloodstrike is more than just a game, it's a serious competition that keeps them coming back, striving to improve and climb up the ranks. The community is incredibly supportive too. New players can find guides, tutorials, and advice from veterans who are always willing to help out. This welcoming atmosphere makes it easy for beginners to jump in, learn the basics, and eventually become skilled enough to hold their own against experienced players. Plus, with the regular tournaments and community events, Bloodstrike's fanbase has something to keep them hooked all year round. Farlight 84, as a newcomer in the gaming world, has been making quite a splash since it launched into early access in 2023. Players have been flocking to it, and it's easy to see why. Right off the bat, the game's vibrant graphics grab your attention. The colors pop and the art style is both eye-catching and engaging, making every match feel like an adventure in a visually stunning universe. It's like stepping into a comic book where every frame is bursting with life and energy. But it's not just the visuals that have players excited, it's the innovative mechanics that truly set Farlight 84 apart from the crowd. Unlike many other Battle Royale games that stick to traditional gameplay styles, Farlight 84 brings fresh elements to the table. You can jump into vehicles to navigate the map swiftly, which adds a thrilling layer of strategy to your gameplay. 
Whether you're racing through the terrain or taking a relaxed drive while searching for enemies, the vehicle mechanics enhance the experience and keep players on their toes. Both games have passionate communities, but Bloodstrike has a larger active player base compared to Farlight 84, so Bloodstrike definitely earns a point here. When it comes to tournaments, Bloodstrike is a bit behind the level. The game doesn't currently host any major international tournaments or sports events, mainly because its community isn't big enough to support such large-scale competitions. While this might sound disappointing, it doesn't mean that there aren't exciting opportunities to showcase your skills. Various tournaments and championships are popping up in different Discord servers, where players can compete for real money or in-game currency. These smaller scale events create a fun and engaging atmosphere, allowing players to test their skills against others while still having the chance to earn some rewards. It's a great way for the community to come together, engage in friendly competition, and build connections. In addition to the community-driven tournaments, the developers also host their own competitions, offering appealing rewards for those who participate. These events add an extra layer of excitement to the game, encouraging players to improve their skills and join in on the action. While Bloodstrike may not have the international spotlight that other games enjoy, the local tournaments and developer-hosted competitions create a lively competitive scene. Farlight 84, still in its early stages, is beginning to create its place in the gaming world by hosting community events and small tournaments. These gatherings are an exciting opportunity for players excited to compete, allowing them to connect with others who share the same passion for the game. The hype around these small competitions is growing, and as more players join in, the potential for Farlight 84 to evolve into a more significant competitive scene is definitely on the horizon. Both games are fun to watch, but Farlight has more competitions and tournaments happening because it used to have a huge player base in the past. Although that player base is declining now, Farlight takes a point here for its efforts in creating a competitive scene. Now, let's talk about developers. Bloodstrike's developers have shown a strong commitment to listening to player feedback, which is a breath of fresh air in the gaming world. They regularly update the game, introducing new content that keeps the gameplay exciting and fresh. Whether it's new maps, characters, or weapons, players can always look forward to something new on the horizon. Additionally, the developers take the time to implement balancing tweaks based on community suggestions, ensuring that the gameplay remains fair and enjoyable for everyone. This kind of responsiveness creates a strong bond between the developers and the players. It's like being part of a team where everyone's input matters, and that encourages players to stay engaged and active in the game. Farlight 84, on the other hand, has adopted a vibrant social media presence that actively engages with players, creating a dynamic online community. The developers frequently host Q&A sessions, where they answer player questions and listen to feedback, fostering an open dialogue that keeps players feeling connected and involved. This level of engagement shows that the devs are genuinely invested in creating a fun and enjoyable experience for everyone. By interacting with the community through platforms like Twitter, Discord, and Twitch, this approach helps grow a passionate fan base excited to contribute to the game's development and share their excitement with others. Both games are making efforts to connect with their players. But the Bloodstrike devs are way more active with the players. So, Bloodstrike takes a point here. Let's talk about money. Bloodstrike uses a traditional monetization model, which means players can buy some cosmetic items to customize their characters and gear. The great thing is that it's not pay to win, so everyone has a fair shot at success, regardless of how much money they spend. This approach keeps the game balanced and enjoyable, allowing players to focus on skill rather than just their wallets. Plus, who doesn't love showing off some cool skins without feeling pressured to spend a ton of cash? This model helps create a fun environment where players can enjoy the game without worrying about being at a disadvantage just because they don't want to open their wallets wide. Farlight 84 follows a similar free-to-play model, giving players the chance to buy cosmetics and earn in-game currency without having to spend any money. This means you can decorate your characters and upgrade your gear while playing and having fun, without feeling the pressure to spend real cash. 
Just like Bloodstrike, Farlight 84 is also not pay to win, which is a huge relief for players who want to rely on their skills rather than their wallets. This setup keeps things fair and competitive, making it enjoyable for everyone, whether you're a casual player or a hardcore gamer looking to show off your style. We've got a tie. Both games respect the integrity of gameplay. Now, let's talk about visuals and graphics. Bloodstrike features a gritty, realistic look that really draws you into the action, making you feel like you're right in the middle of the fight. The graphics are sharp and detailed, showcasing the game's environments and character designs beautifully. Plus, the sound design is top-notch, with clear audio that makes every gunshot feel powerful and impactful. It adds a whole new layer of excitement to the gameplay. Farlight 84's visuals take a different approach, immersing players in a vibrant, colorful universe that stands out among the competition. The art style is eye-catching, featuring characters and environments that are imaginative and engaging. The graphics are polished, bringing a level of detail that enhances the overall experience. The bright colors and stunning effects create an exhilarating atmosphere, and the fun sound effects make each match feel lively and energetic. So, which one takes the crown for visuals? It's really a matter of personal preference. Both games shine in their own way, so it's hard to choose just one. But since Farlight 84's graphics fit more with the game's atmosphere, it gets the point. So, let's break it down. Bloodstrike and Farlight 84 are both amazing games with unique strengths and weaknesses. Bloodstrike shines with its tight gameplay, dedicated community, and active developers, while Farlight 84 offers an exciting, colorful world filled with thrilling vehicles and innovative mechanics. The final score is Bloodstrike 4 and Farlight 84's 4. If you enjoy fast-paced shooters with a passionate community, you should definitely check out Bloodstrike. And if you prefer a vibrant, futuristic experience with a fresh twist, give Farlight 84 a try. That's it for today's comparison. Which game do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. See you in the next video. Peace out.